Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so uh, things are a little bit of at a standstill at the moment. It seems like you are seeking companionship or you're seeking some kind of uh, you know new relationship, uh, waiting for that to come in. Uh, there's a need for you to take a chance on something. So uh, if there's a new relationship presenting itself to you, you might need to just take a chance on that. Now, in the past, you've had go going through a lot of anxiety and stress, <coughs> excuse me, over the situation. <clears throat> and there might be somebody that you've got your eye on. So a last for forbidden fruit over there coming up for you in the past. Going into the future, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat with somebody. Get things off your chest, really. And if it's a relationship that you're in already, you do need to have a, a good um, old-fashioned chat with the person that you're seeing uh, at the moment. Uh, there might be too much of drama that is going on, so you'll need to do, you do need to talk about it. You are in a situation where there's a lot going on, uh, and there might be a lot of things happening, and maybe that's causing you not to focus so much on that relationship. So you and your uh, partner do have to have some kind of chat um, and, you know, reconnect with each other. <clears throat> so those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using uh, the Romantic Tarot of the main read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Swords over here. That looks like there was some kind of drama going on over there. There looks like there might have been a breakup, uh, a loss of a relationship as well. So you might have got, just come through a separation, uh, you know, where uh, there, were th there was a third party uh, situation involved, it seems. Maybe your partner found out what, about what was going on, or you found out that your partner was involved with somebody else. And there seems to have been a, um, a breakup of that relationship. So what's been happening with you, it seems like you and, uh, you know, your partner have been having problems. Uh, it's about a battle of wills or a battle of power going on over here. It seems like you wanted to focus on something and your partner was not really that interested in focusing on maybe moving that relationship forward. Uh, it seems like, you know, you, you can see this um, the, the little girl is trying to drive this uh, goat forward but the partner just is not really interested and the other goat is at a standstill over there. So maybe you, the relationship was just not moving uh, in the right direction or it just didn't seem to be getting anywhere. And uh, it looks like there might have been a breakup because of that. You've got that 10 of um, uh, pentacles over here, which is showing, you know, usually the 10s are endings of cycles. And with that 3 of swords over there, it looks like that relationship did end. Maybe you were financially, um, you know, connected with each other. That's why the 10 of pentacles has come up. This could have been a divorce as well. Uh, it looks like maybe this person that you were involved in was very, very controlling. You can see he's even tying uh, the knot on the back of her apron over there. So it looks like whatever this relationship was, a very, very manipulative or very, very controlling relationship. And it seems like like, you know, this was not something uh, that you were very, very happy with because this little girl does not look happy uh, about the whole thing. And it looks like maybe this is the reason why this relationship has come to an end. So the person that you have been dealing with is the King of Pentacles. So maybe uh, your partner has been really very, very focused on their work and not paying a lot of attention to you. Maybe they've just been involved in making the money rather than actually uh, investing in a relationship. So this uh, King of Pentacles doesn't seem to be have anything else on his mind except the coins on his table. Uh, there's nobody else around him. He is just involved in his work and maybe you have been feeling very neglected. So there seems to be somebody that you have been communicating with. There seems to be another person uh, and you may be uh, Maybe you've been using uh, this particular relationship uh, to express yourself. Um, maybe this particular person has shown more interest in you, has been uh, very, very um, attentive to your needs, and uh, you know you have been communicating quite a bit with this particular person. They've been getting you through the drama, because you've got that Six of Swords. It's moving away from any kind of dramas. So maybe you've been communicating any kind of uh, problems that have been going on with this particular person, and they have been uh, somebody there that's been supporting you. 
Uh, you may have met this person at work. You've got this uh, page of pentacles over here uh, showing that maybe you have, um, you know, uh, met this person, they are much more um, artistic. Uh, there's somebody that has got, although they're focused on the work, they've still got that artistic side and this is something that you're admiring. So you're thinking about this person quite a bit. Now going into the future, you've got the Temperance card over here. It looks like an offer coming in for you for some reason or the other. Maybe this person that you have been communicating with or have been relying on has also got interest in you. Uh, it's obvious that you're not really that interested in actually pursuing that relationship, even though this person is, um, you know, very interested. This woman's wearing a, a veil over there that is showing that, you know, you are hiding a few things from this person. You've got your goals in the background over there about what you want to do. Um, and it's obvious that this person, uh, you know, uh, really... Um, you can see she's pulled to the drink over here. So it makes, it makes you a bit nervous. Makes you maybe uh, It's very exciting, this new relationship. Uh, but you're not really willing to leave. Uh, or maybe, you know, after just leaving or, or breaking up with this particular person that you've been seeing for a while, uh, you're not too keen on actually pursuing a new relationship over there. It might be a very sexual relationship as well that is being offered to you at the moment. <coughs> So you've got the um, Knight of uh, Swords over here. Now this could be a divorce, a legal situation that you're going through. So with the page, um, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's usually a marriage card, you know, a family life that has come to an end or a breakup of that relationship. And there might be a divorce that you're going through at the moment since you've got that Knight of uh, Swords over there. So what's going on around you? You've got that Four of Swords over here. You're getting out there, going and having some fun, uh, you know, going out quite a bit, uh, maybe to just get over this past relationship that is now coming to an end for you. So you can see all these people dancing here. Um, there might also be a, a difficult communication that is happening between you and that person that you have broken up with. Maybe you are having problems even communicating. So it seems like you're seeking, uh, you know, um, some kind of distraction by going out quite a bit and socializing quite a bit. Uh, so you've got that ten of rods over here. Maybe you feel that this relationship that you have come out of was a very burdensome relationship. You have, were the one that was doing all the work and it seems like you do want to move away completely from this relationship. It, it seems like it was not worth your time. It looks like there was a third party situation, so it could be, have been you that was involved with somebody else or even your partner involved with somebody else, but definitely a third party situation going on over there. And uh, it looks like you are you are deciding to maybe amicably uh, uh, leave this person. You are having discussions about things at the moment, but it looks like you do want to end this relationship completely. It's not serving its purpose for you. So going into the future, you've got the Five of Cups, you've got the King of Rods, and you've got the Knight of Pentacles over here. The Five of Cups showing uh, a th third party situation and a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing. Uh, this is the card of regret, disappointment, uh, you know, being let down. It seems like there is a third party situation. There's a lot of lies and deceit going on over here within this particular situation. Maybe things are starting to come to light and they're causing a lot of drama at this particular moment. Both these women are wearing masks. So, you know, it seems like one person is being hidden from the other so it looks like uh, maybe you're just finding out about things or maybe your partner is just finding out, out about things uh, things are coming to light uh, secrets are coming to light and this is causing a lot of drama in the situation you've got the knight of um, the king of uh, rods over here so maybe this is how you're perceiving your partner to be as well somebody who is not interested who is just uh, obsessed with themselves and uh, you know is a bit arrogant um, it could be a fire sign person that you're dealing with, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because of this being the king of rods. And maybe they have, uh, you know, they're very, very self-obsessed um, or, uh, you know, they're only interested in themselves. So it, you feel, maybe you're feeling as though, as though, you know, they're not going to be somebody that gives you the attention that you need. Uh, this other person is making an offer or it looks like you're more interested in this person that you're working with with this nice knight of pentacles knights of pentacles are generally pretty slow moving so even if this person makes any kind of offer to you it's going to take a long time before it comes in but they are very financially stable and they you know they're ambitious they're going for it um they're quite generous uh as well you can see this man's throwing the coins into this uh well over here so they work hard but they're also quite generous with finances this could be an earth sign person that you're dealing with so 
uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo uh, of interest, but this could be somebody that you are working with that you have a very, very interested in. It seems like you are interested in this particular person because you've got this page of pentacles over here, so it might be somebody that you're working with, and you admire the fact that they're not just obsessed with work, but that they have this other side, this artistic side for them. It seems like there is going to be some kind of offer. Maybe it's going to start off as a sexual relationship, for you, uh, something that you know you're going to be, uh, you're a bit shy really to actually start off something brand new, but you are going through this uh, divorce or separation at the moment, uh, and uh, it seems like maybe that is starting to, you know, that's taking up most of your attention right now. So, I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot, um, just as the Oracle read. So the first card is the decision card, which is saying release yourself from that which holds you back and need to detox unnecessary worried, uh, uh, worry based on a lack of confidence. Um, so uh, this is about, you know, you're going to have to make some kind of choice, some kind of decision, um, and you're going to have to release yourself from uh, a relationship. If you're feeling very caged in it uh, or you're getting released from this relationship, you can see the door of that cage is open and the bird is flying out. Um, so it seems like uh, this is, um, you know, a, a relationship that has now run its course and you are not finding it very, very uh, satisfactory to actually stay in it. And you are uh, going to have to make a decision and, um, you know, let it go, really. You also need to stop worrying about things and have a bit more self-confidence, um, you know. So you've got the five of Gabriel over here. So a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. So you're going to have to be very strate strategic about what you do. It seems like you and this person are still having a lot of difficulties. There's a lot of fighting going on over here with this five of Gabriel, which is the five of rods. Uh, so you are, ha are having a lot of arguments. Uh, if there's too much of drama in it, if it's just sapping at your energies, you'll need to just walk away from it or just try to avoid confrontation really you've got the nine of Raphael, which says make a wish dreams become a reality and a joyful time so as soon as you know you let go or you make your decision it seems like uh you know you're going to get what you want with that nine of Raphael, which is like the nine of cups it's a wish fulfillment card uh it seems like maybe this new relationship this particular person that you get involved with is going to be quite um uh, loyal because you've got that dog over here and you've got you know somebody that is going to uh, uh, help you uh, achieve those emotional goals that you want so if you know if you want happiness and love and support and you know somebody who's very very attentive it seems like that is going to be coming in with a new relationship but you're going to have to make a decision about walking away from this old relationship if it is not serving you anymore it seems like it isn't because you know uh, you seem to want to go in one direction and your partner has got other ideas, uh, you know, maybe they don't want to move forward, uh, you know, or maybe you wanted this particular relationship to move in a certain way and it's not going that way. You want control back, obviously, uh, but it seems like this person, you know, is watching your every move, watching your back, um, you know, controlling you in quite a uh, away and is very restrictive as well because he's tying a knot over there so it's almost as though they're restricting everything about what you want to do and you want your freedom out of it um, so there seems to be some kind of um, you know uh, issue going on and there's a lot of heartbreak so like I said there's a it's probably a, a third party situation involved over here and there's a lot of drama going on over here this is also indicating uh, you know legal situation going on over here so a breakdown of communication as well with that three of swords and it looks like the knight of swords um, you know um, some kind of um, a divorce going on as well uh, you know maybe this person was very controlling you've got him um, trying to, con uh, cutting off the feathers, that's, you know, trying to control your thoughts, uh, being very, there's a lot of conflict going on over here. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you know, the person is usually um, somebody who has harsh words. Uh, they're very, very uh, callous. Uh, they could be very, very sarcastic as well and very, very controlling. So maybe that is why you need, you know, you, you want to leave or you need to leave for your personal freedom. And the decision card is showing that you've been very caged up over here uh, and there is a need for you to release yourself from the situation. So um, it looks like, you know, this Knight of Pentacles will make an offer, uh, even though it might be slow in coming, but it looks like it will come uh, eventually. Um, and if that is what you want to pursue, then it looks like that might be something that you uh, you find more satisfactory. 
So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.